This section of our training is about promoting your app, growing your app, acquiring new users, and so on. So let's get started and jump into it. But wait a second, what do you mean by promoting? Once your mobile app is created and published, you'll need to get some new users, right? So how do you do that? When it comes to growing your app, there are a few topics that you need to cover. So we have the App Store optimization, we have the advertising, we have the referrals, and tons of other stuff. ASO, App Store optimization, is the process of optimizing things like your app description, images, app icon, developer name, app name, and things like that. When you do all these, your app is ranking high in the app stores, like the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. It's quite similar to SEO in the web. When it comes to advertising, we mean the Google Ads or the Facebook Ads. You can direct some traffic to your app. If you have the budget, please go ahead and start some, start some advertisement. So the next one is referrals. And how to accomplish that? A, you can create a website for your app so you can direct some traffic from your own website. B, collaborate with bloggers or other websites so they can send you some traffic and you can get app downloads. And C, use social media and influencer marketing. So the last one is really popular. And if you wanna go viral, you should definitely be using the influencer marketing. I just want to remind you, promoting an app, acquiring new users, retaining them, these are whole different disciplines. So we wanted to give you the basics, but of course, we are planning to create another certification program for the app growth purposes. Regarding our topic, we'll go ahead and check mobile roller control panel for sending push notifications and adding AdMob codes to your app. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I'll also show you how to add your Google Analytics to your app. So let's go to our mobile roller control panel and let me show you a few things in there. We are back to our control panel and on your left, you'll see the promotion tab. When you go here, and when your app is published in the mobile app store, they're giving you the MBIT codes. So you can redirect your visitors to your app. Let's go ahead and check the push notifications page. To send a push notification to your app users, Click on send a notification. Just type in your message, choose a screen to redirect, and you can send it now or you can schedule for later. Let's continue with the monetization tab. This is the place where you can add some interstitial or banner ads from Google AdMob. Simply click on here and you can add your ad code. You can choose some frequency and that's about it.
please visit our support if you don't know how to open up an AdMob account. We will come to the end of our training. I hope you enjoyed it all. Now you can go ahead and take an examination. And if you pass, you'll be certified as a mobile app builder. Isn't that fancy? So I hope to see you all in our next trainings.